Hey, what's going on guys? Ron1 back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a head swap. I'm going to be taking the head on the left model, putting it onto the body of the right model, and the current versions of Blender and Cats. I'm using Blender version 2.83, and I'm using Cats version 0.19, which should be the latest version as of this video. So uh, if you don't know about cats, you need cats. You gotta get cats. It's uh, it's what you need if you're gonna be using Blender, going into Unity. It helps import exporting, and uh, helps with uh, VR chat models stuff like that. Yeah. So first thing first, you gotta get the body off of the model on the left. So to do that, I'm gonna go into the Materials tab. Select the head, select the hair, click P on the keyboard, separate by selection. Now I'm going to take the body, delete it, and what you want to do is because we're combining armatures, you want to delete all of the bones except for the head and the neck bone. So I'm just going to be shift selecting, making sure not to grab any of the hair bones. Make sure to grab the body and hit delete. And just in case you're unsure about what bones you're grabbing, if you look in the top left, you see that this is the neck bone and this is the head bone. So we are fine there. Now. I've been running into an issue with Blender, or at least with Cats, where it gives me this weird traceback error. Not sure why that's happening, but if I go into the fixed model settings and I uncheck connect bones, and then I run fixed model, it sort of fixes the problem with just a little quick fix. And now it's working. All right. Fixing the model can only help you. It cannot hurt you unless you're finalizing something you don't want to finalize but yeah so now I want to remove the head off of this model so I'm gonna find the hair material hair material and just in case you're not sure about what material is which you can click it oh this is material too all right then hit select oh this is the back hair all right then hit select delete those vertices now this face texture is going to be the nails for some reason not sure why. And it's also going to be a part of the some parts down here. So I'm going to hold Z on my keyboard, shortcut to wireframe, hold control, click and drag, click and drag, control clicking, deselects, or at least control drag and deselects. Go back to material preview, delete the head vertices, and now I'm going to run a fixed model on this armature and it's gonna get rid of all the extra dynamic bones and stuff that we just don't need. Alright, go back to object mode, select the armature and I want to delete these eye bones because those are bones that are on this other avatar, on this other head. Now fix the model again A lot of model fixing. Again, it can't hurt you. Unless it's a really specific situation. For the most part, it can't hurt you. Alright, now we want to drag the head onto the body. I'm going to go to front view. Um, try and line it up the best as I can. Uh, yeah, sure, that looks, uh, wait, sure, yeah, that looks, looks fine. Now, the part that's, uh, probably the most difficult about this process, at least the way that I do it, is, um, going to be the fact that you have to line up the head and neck bone of the 
head armature with the head and neck bone of the body armature. So here we see the head and neck bone of the body armature. And then if I select the head armature, here we see the head and neck bone of the body armature. They're slightly offset. Just want to make sure that we make it so that they're not offset. Um, so I'm just going to go into side view, line them up. And I'm just pressing G on my keyboard to uh, freely move again. there the neck bone is really tiny on this model so now again I'm just reiterating the head and neck bone need to line up from the head model onto the body model that's that's what you're that's what you're doing here all right so now that you've done that I'm going to select the body model shift select the head model Control J on the keyboard. Okay, never mind. You don't. This is why you fix the models. So we're gonna fix the models again. <laughs> Fixing models. We we fix them. Or cat cats is gonna fix them. Cats fixes them. All right. Now we're gonna do that again. Control J on the keyboard. No weird shit happening. So it's good. And um, now uh, this is just sort of a weird case where both ways this doesn't exactly mess up. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I've done a decent amount of head swaps, but sometimes you run into weird problems. There's a bone here that is the duplicate bone from the body armature. I'm just going to delete that, make sure to keep the bone that has all the lines, because that's the the head bone with all the uh, all the parenting for the hair. You want to keep that. And now, you fix the model. You hope Blender doesn't crash. It didn't crash. Yay. And uh, as you can see, we still have all the parenting. All the bones are parented correctly still, which is good. That's what you want. Go into pose mode. Um, and yep, looking all right. Okay, we're twisted, but yep, looking, <laughs> looking all right. Yeah, head swap. Woo. Um, yeah, this is a finished model head swap. You're ready to just uh, export this as an FBX, import it into Blender, apply the dynamic bones, and it'll be uh, ready to go. Hope this uh, hope this video helped you guys out, and uh, hope you guys are having a great day, or good night, good uh, a good year Jesus art it's, it's already like almost end of 2021 insane hope you guys have a good uh good life yeah amazing see you guys later